NDTV has reached Rafa, which is right in the middle of the current battle zone, deep in the south of Gaza. Just beyond, the war is raging and we can't go any further. But we've come this far because in Rafa, what we found is nothing short of a massacre. Now, I know that terminology is important at a time of war, and I use this word carefully, but that's really what's been going on here, away from the eyes of the world, because no real media has chosen to venture this far deep south. Now, just to put this in perspective, Rafah is what broke the ceasefire because Israel said that one of their troops had been captured by Hamas and they pounded it on the day of the ceasefire. Anywhere between 50 to 70 were killed. Subsequently, Israel said that the soldier may have been killed and not kidnapped, something which Hamas had denied to begin with. But even so, and even despite the fact that Benjamin Netanyahu yesterday said that there might be a de-escalation of the war, Rafah continues to be hit. And those killed, as we found when we ventured this far and we visited some of the hospitals here, are little children, women, entire families wiped out. A UN shelter, which was meant to be a refuge for those fleeing the violence, also hit. Seven killed there. The body count just informally that we've done just in the past few hours we've been here is already close to 30. And as I said, all of them, civilians, ordinary people, very hard to justify why they would be targeted. Here is the story of what has been happening in Rafa. How old is he? Two and a half. Two and a half. Yes. And so he was uh, going back home on the day of the ceasefire yes. with his family yes. when they were hit. Yes. And he's lost his leg and he has burn injuries on his face. And his hand and his leg. And they're from Rafa. Okay. And, and what happened to... She lost her, her parents. She's lost her parents. Yeah. And she's herself... Clearly injured. Uh, how old is she? Any idea? This one is Walad. Walad. He is boy. He's a boy. How yes. how old is he? Five months. Five month old boy. Are there is there any family? Kusai. What's his name? Kusai. Kusai. The same family. Is there anyone to look after? I mean, does they have any? Min hala bi jirbalu alayma. Sidhu wa naam. Her grand, uh, his grandfather and his uncle. They were hit. They were moving in the vehicle. So they were walking. They were walking. Oh, they were walking yeah. when they were hit. Was having this patient uh, coming from Rafa yes. this morning. Yes. He was in a shock situation with explosive injury, as you see. Right. Uh, he was in the school. Was attacked uh, this morning. In a UN well, school? Yes. Is yeah, he still uh, in danger? Yes, he is in, very in, much in danger. Yes, yes. Tell yes. us about Rafa, How? what happened there? We received, we received uh, 10, about, uh, I, I don't know, 10 or 11 dead. Dead bodies? Yes. When? Another Just is victims, injured. Ah. When did the come, bodies come? Today? Today, this morning. Yes, this morning. 10 this bodies morning. came? Yes, this is. The and continuously they've been coming from? Continuously, put this, but now we are in the rest. So that little girl is Hanin. She's just four years old. She was asleep in the bed when the shell landed. Her sister, Yakin, just one and a half years old, is in the intensive care unit. This is her cousin. This is Mahmoud. He's 10 years old. He has a head injury. He also has uh, shrapnel wounds in his legs, uh, which are completely covered in blood. Now, her family are telling us that their parents are killed, their grandparents are killed, and also, and this is extremely heartbreaking, there are two twins, two twins, one month old, who are still missing somewhere in the devastation of Rafa, and uh, they are not able to get in there to look for them because the shelling continues very, very heavily. This is turning out to be a massacre. Do they have any any understanding of why they were targeting that area? Was 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 there some rockets being fired from that area? What do they know anything about that? In the past, when they came out of the station, or they came out, or they came out, or they came out, 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 they came
ولا يفكر احد في الموضوع هذا وات اكزاكتلي هابن شي كود جست تيل اس عندك بركه مع الصاب اه في مركه مع البركه عندنا على البركه اوكي هي سيد ذات بيكوز اوف ذات شوك she can't even understand what is happening around her right so no one tell her that her all of her ma- family were uh, killed oh, the same, uh, she doesn't time. know that her family has been killed know, yeah around six of her her husband two uh, uh, g- uh, girls two and, girls and, three and three boys, boys. yeah she just left them for minutes to go to the bathroom and the uh, targeting cabin in the This is more ambulances coming in from Rafa to the Khan Yunus hospital here with the bodies of the injured and the dead but they're being told that this hospital is absolutely full and that they do not have space they need to take them elsewhere to other hospitals which are actually in more dangerous uh, parts of this area where there is still uh, shelling going on so it's indeed a very difficult situation with uh, the hospitals coming under heavy strain and obviously the fact that more ambulances are coming in from rafa suggest that there are still attacks going on there by the israeli army at the khan yunus hospital with camera person sanjay mandal and nihamasi shrinivasan jain for ndtv